Hello and welcome to Real Estate in Focus. You want to buy a house, but where? I think it's important to understand what are the needs. What are your needs? What, what do you want to buy? What is your minimum requirement? Versus what you want. Sometimes we want a lot of things, but our budget, our financing options, uh, the money that's available, the down payment that we have, we have some restrictions. So, for instance, uh, if you're looking after a large bedrooms with a lot of bathrooms, if you're looking in an area which is an older part of the town, established part of the town, usually you will get frustrated because you won't find. Most of these houses are smaller size houses. Or if you're looking for a Victorian style of houses, you will not find them in a new development area. So it is very important before you go out and look for a house to know what are exactly your needs. Which takes me to another uh, area that you should know whether you want to buy in an urban area or a suburban. In a suburban area, you will find houses that are large, larger in terms of the size, but also larger in terms of the actual lot size. In an older area, of course, you, you get the amenities, the shopping, and, and, and closer to an area that is very established neighborhood. The other factors that buyers are considering and is important is that the schools, the public transportation system, how far is it? Uh, where are the other amenities like parks, community centers, libraries? These are all important factors. So I would suggest before you consider a neighborhood, maybe you should pick two, three, or four and drive through them. Find out where are the shopping centers. Find out the community centers. How far are the places of worships, the churches, the mosques, or whatever you're considering. Those are all the things that are important for you. Maybe take your car, go out, and drive by. Look how well maintained the neighborhood is, how well maintained the, the houses are, where, whether there is a pride of ownership or not. So driving by, and again, drive by not just during the day, drive by at nighttime too to find out the noise from the highway, the railway tracks that make noise, how far is it? Once you find out which area exactly you want to buy a property, then you, you should also find out what is the future of this town or this neighborhood or this community the developments that are coming up, the expansion of highway, railway, roads, and all the other things that the, you can find out from economic development department of that town. Now, the other thing that is very important that a buyer should know is that you should never buy a most expensive house in a modest neighborhood. It is always better to buy a modest house in a very established, expensive neighborhood. So before I let you go, actually this whole thing boils down to three points. It is about the past of a community that you're considering to buy, the track record that is proven, the school, the image, the community. It is about the present, that means what are your needs, and then it's about the future, where is this town or this neighborhood going? Thank you for watching, and I hope that these points will help you to guide you to pick up the area that you want to buy your house to live. Thank you.